Dr. Stone Chapter 152, Doctor vs. Doctor. Okay. Got Goku and Chrome looking. When in the world is that extremely tall tower? Something bad. They must have made it with science. We gotta learn whatever we can about this enemy and report back to Senku. But where's Gen? Do you think he managed to infiltrate? Huh, <laughs> that smooth talker would find just the right words to keep himself alive. Blah blah. He's the world's most trustworthy liar. Wait, is he trustworthy? A liar? You can't just smash words together like that. Back to Persis. Persis, come in. There's been a change of plans. Got it. Not in a word. Okay, huh? Right. Since we're using radio waves, that means scientists could be intercepting our signal. Yep. They did seem strangely aware of what we were up to. Huh. Then it's safe to assume that this enemy knows Japanese. Respond as briefly as possible. What's the situation? Who's there? Huh? It's me plus Ka or the woman. Just us two. So either Gen was abducted or he infiltrated by pretending to betray us. My captain thinks they're telling me it's option B. <laughs> Don't need stinking instincts to know it's ten billion percent option B. Click. You hung up. Leave on for too long. And they could pinpoint the signal's origin. Right. We don't know how advanced the enemy's tech really is. In most battles we've faced so far, science has given us the leg up. But this time, the enemy might have us be in that department. <laughs> a science user throwdown. Now that's a reason to get excited. Ring, ring. <laughs> Magma picks up. What's the big idea, Chrome? You goof. You ain't supposed to call right back. Oh, it's the doctor. Greetings. I take it this is your preferred frequency for communication. Huh? Demi is making contact. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Shh, shh. Mwahaha. -ha. So you're the big bad guy. You got guts. I apologize for my poor Japanese language skills. But alas, as this is a conversation a fit for troglodytes, I must ask to speak to your science team leader. Put on Dr. Chaiju for me. Oh, Dr. Taiju, and they're like, what? Ah, I get it. This is Gen's doing. Hmm. He went and protected our actual science user and propped up our toughest tough guy as a leader. Say what? <laughs> Change outfits. Guess I'm tagging in for Senku. Bam. I'm sorry. But is the costume necessary? This is a phone call. Gotta keep up appearances. Taiju here. That's Dr. Taiju to you. So you're Dr. Zeno, huh? Pay attention, cause I've got something to say to you. Shooting people with machine guns without warning isn't nice. Well, duh. My apologies. My soldier, Stanley, thought the best greeting would be a demonstration of the chasm that lies between our respective levels of science. Bunch of guns. Now, Dr. Taiju, as a fellow science pro yourself, you must surely realize we are possessed a uh, hyperbosh plant. What? Hybrid thingy? That's awesome, Dr. Zeno. They don't talk more than you do, you big oaf. Or the crackle starts showing. What is he talking about? A factor that makes ammonia, in short. With just water and air, they can produce unlimited gunpowder and ammunition. Okay. So that allows you to fire those machine guns all day long. Is that what you're trying to say? Then you get the gist, Dr. Taiju. He's acting like he already knew that stuff. Who knew Taiju was such a performer? More like up front and direct. We are a collective of professional adults. It's nothing like your ragtag band of merry youths playing with science. Now, I hope you'll surrender at once and serve me. Nothing more, nothing less. You see, our population is lacking. What's he mean? We don't have enough people? Why not just wake up the stone statues lying around everywhere? Ha <laughs> ha, that tells us. They don't know about revival fluid. Am I wrong? <laughs> because revival fluid as a concept they exist as scientific knowledge in the past. Only those who maintain consciousness while petrified for a thousand years can be revived with a dash of nitric acid. Oh, okay, that makes sense. My people are the select few who achieve that. Huh. But you are several dozen. And I can scarcely believe all those youths are mental champions 
of the highest order. Tell me then, how do you revive the statues? Well, we... Oh, Captain stopped him. The revived fluid is our sole advantage. We can't let them have it. These people shot first and ask questions later. If they learn the formula, the Kraton army just destroy us. Yep. They'd already be making buckets of the stuff if they knew the right recipe. The factory yields nitric acid, and the cornfields yield alcohol. But if we nab it all for ourselves, we'll have Corn City up and running and in our hands with enough revival fluid for billions. Get it? Yeah. It's like, you're never getting revival fluid. Request denied, mister. Very well. Negotiation had broken down then. What a shame. Oh, plane? Okay. Oh, that's one whopper of flagship. They've located the Perseus. These scumbags had another plane on hand. Why did we assume there was only one? This time, it's just scouting. They won't try another risky, low altitude maneuver along the river. But now our spears and arrows won't reach it. How can we find an airplane? Tell us, Senku. It just so happens we got a plane of our own. That's right. Ho ho! I'll fix this up in a jifty. A machine like this gets me all fired up. Yeah! But how can our plane take off? Unlike the enemy, we don't have an airstrip. Then we just gotta make one. Where? Here. <laughs> it's aircraft carrier time. Vroom. The Perseus getting told makeover. F for a dogfight? Next chapter hits uh, June 7th. <laughs> all fired up. Huh. So yeah, Dr. Zeno knows limited Japanese, so... I guess, yeah. But what about Stanley? Does he know Japanese too? Air, water, coal, iron, sulfur, charcoal, platinum, sodium hydroxide, shells, Ammonia, nitric acid, ammo. So yeah, that that brings up the theory, like or solves the theory of how like Senku and um I guess them were the only ones because they were still using their brain power to like wake up with the nitric acid. So I'm wondering what's stopping them from, like, knowing it. I guess Senku did, like, focus on, like, that aspect instead of, like, arming themselves. <laughs> it's like Dr. Taiju reporting for duty. Hmm. So now he knows like there's two people who are on like that and two. He knows Chrome's name. Yeah, I wonder if he like let them have their Atomi without working under him and they worked alongside each other. Would they have cooperated? Although they did shoot first and ask questions later, so I mean, relations are restrained at that point. Yeah, I guess next chapter they're going to focus on making their land stripped and um, fix the plane. While Chrome and Kawaku scout. So I'm guessing I was right with like the four people who are there. They must be, um, wait, so Stanley is like super smart too? Huh. I'm wondering about the other two. I mean, they can somehow like overpower them. They can take over real quick. Hopefully Gen's going to be okay. Hmm. 
So yeah, word thoughts, where this is going. Um, if you enjoyed the chapter, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe or comment. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of the day. Bye.